Hi, my name is Matthew. And I am from Isudo Technology Solutions. This presentation is going to give you an overview of <clears throat> Microsoft Office 365 along with, you know, um, the components of what Office 365 is. The presentation is going to cover, there's going to be two parts to this. One is an overview, and the, the second half, we're going to go into more detail of how you would do, let's say, collaboration and sharing using uh, Teams. Because a lot of people right now is probably using Teams to do their chat and other, you know, sharing of information besides the using email, right? In our company's Isudo Technology Solutions, we're a Microsoft partner here in the Bay Area. So we help people, you know, migrate to Office 365 from Google, from other platform, and then we train them how to use it, and we provide ongoing support for them. So today, um, I'm going to discuss, this is the, the part one, is to go over an introduction to Office 365, give you a comparison of what Office 365 is to Google Suite. I believe many of you came from Google, right? You guys were using Google for a long time? Okay. And then that way you can see the comparison side by side, what product is on Office 365 to Google give you an, um, an overview of what Office 365 web apps, the desktop Office suite, the difference between the, you know, the web and the desktop app. And then if you haven't installed the Office 365, show you how to download and install it on your local computer or your mobile device. And then we go in the Q&A. All right, um, Office 365, so Office 365 is very similar to Google Suite. It's an, a, an online component, but it also has an offline component that you can install using the Microsoft Office Suite. Many of you may have used Outlook already, and you normally install that on your local PC or mobile device, right? So that's one of the key difference is that you can install the Microsoft Office Suite and then you connect that to their Exchange email server instead of Google. One of the other things is the online file storage, OneDrive and SharePoint. Uh, if you use any like um, Google Drive, it's similar to that, or Dropbox, if you guys use Dropbox. So this is a equivalent product to that. And the next part is the group communication, which is the chat, uh, web meeting, and screen share based on Microsoft Teams. So we'll go into more detail. And if you are into, let's say, design and project management, we have Visio and Microsoft Projects. And the component part, which is the mobile device, if you use it on your smartphone or tablet, if you guys are checking emails or using uh, Teams, you can do that on your mobile device. Okay, what I want to do next is just give you an introduction video. With a subscription to Office 365, you can get the latest version of Office, extra OneDrive storage, plus Office mobile apps so you can get things done on just about any device. Here's how it works. For a low monthly or yearly cost, you get the latest <laughs> version of Office apps to install on your PC or Mac, and you'll continue to get new updates. Everything from small tweaks to brand new features. And because it works with all your devices, you can start creating on your PC or Mac, continue editing on your tablet, and then finish up on your phone. All this is possible because you can save your files to the cloud on OneDrive and get to them from anywhere. Store any type of file, including images, spreadsheets, presentations, and more. Office 365 comes with mobile versions of Office for all your devices. These mobile apps come with premium features that you can't get anywhere else. Think of Office 365 as your corner of the cloud. It's the Office you know and love, built for the modern world so you can use it from anywhere. So the next slide is 
giving you a, a glance view of a comparison of what Office 365 is to Google Suite. So in here, uh, most of you have used email components. You know, in, in Office 365, it's called Outlook, and Google is Gmail, right? And then as far as storage, you have a range of you know email storage plus you have cloud storage component. So they're, they're two separate parts. Email is separate from, let's say, your file sharing and, and file document management storage. Google, you know, have a word processing called Docs. Uh, Microsoft has Microsoft Word. And then you have PowerPoint for your presentation, Excel, Google Sheets. Majority of this is just, I just want to highlight it. You, if you have any specific questions, I can go in more detail. But the next thing we want to do is just give you a highlight of um, the major components which you use every day, which is the Microsoft Suite. And probably the next one we're going to go in more detail on the next uh, presentation is the Microsoft Teams and OneDrive. So that's that's coming up on a, uh, after we do the basic introduction. If you guys have any questions, let me know. One key difference that I want to highlight is the desktop version. So Google, you have to do everything online, whereas Microsoft, you have an offline or desktop version that you guys can install and work without the internet connection. So th this is just <laughs> giving you what I mentioned earlier. If your company, like you guys been using Microsoft Office Suite, most company will prefer to use uh, Office 365 compared to Google. Another strong component is the security aspect on Office 365. It's a lot better integration and gives you more control in sharing documents and files compared to Google. And if you're using a PC, it has tighter integration compared to Google. So um, the key thing is that if a company has been using Google, you know, they work better with Chromebook and Mac OS because Microsoft makes um, Office and they it makes Windows, so they have a better integration between the two products. And then, then the last part is this space, right? Because online, Google doesn't require a lot of this space to use on your local PC. The um, next slide is the Office uh, Suite, I mean, um, Office Web App or Office Online. So when you log in, uh, you see a list of, you know, Outlook Online, Word Online, Excel Online, and there's nothing to install. It's just if you have, if you were compare this to Google, when you log into Google, it has the same aspect. So that way, if if you don't have, let's say, your primary computer and you log on from home, this makes it easier for you to work. Here is when you log in to office.com. This is what you'll see. I don't know, have, have you guys logged on to office.com or is it mostly using your local? Have you guys logged on to this before? Okay, so the online version, if you go to office.com, put in your email address and you log in, you will see that you have, you know, mail, OneDrive, Word, Excel. Along with that, uh, you have SharePoint and Teams. So all that's available to you without having to have, you know, install on your local PC. And we'll, we'll go into uh, a few more of that. The next part is the Office desktop. Um, that's where you download. Uh, let me just go back one slide. If you, let's say you want to install, you just, this is the desktop version. If you clicked on this, you can download all these um, products to your local PC or Mac. And that's what we call the Microsoft Office uh, Pro Plus or the desktop app. Most of it is included with the following plan. So as long as you have the Microsoft Office plan, business, business premium, enterprise, 
E3 and E5, it comes with the, the Office desktop app. Otherwise, it's, you can only use the online version. So the difference here between the, the two product, the web app and the desktop app, most of the key things is um, there's certain file format that it's not compatible on the online version. If you created a document, let's say in your desktop version and you, uh, you have a lot of um, formatting, sometimes it doesn't support some of the formatting online. But if it's just a basic document, it will it'll look exactly the same. The other thing is that if, let's say, a document or Excel file is password encrypted, you can't open that when you open it in um, the web version. It's not supported. And lastly, if I don't know if you work with macros, it won't work on the online version. The macro has to be on a local version. A lot of the macros won't work. It's just because it uses, let's say, visual, all the yeah. component in the OS. Okay. That's the reason why. And macros sometimes doesn't even work on a, a, a Mac either. 